guys, we are going to Vikings, which is just up there, and we're in SM Mall. SM City, yeah. SM City, okay, okay. I've never been here before, like ever, obviously, like so. And this is my first time here at Vikings as well. Yeah. Vikings, so here, it's the biggest uh, buffet place in the Philippines as well. So. Whoa, oh, that's good. Oh, there's Kobe stairs here too, like. Happy days. So the only, or the, the biggest buffet in the Philippines, in the Philippines, did you say? That's what I've heard, yeah. In uh, the whole of the Philippines, guys? Whoa, not just Ila Wilo. If I'm wrong about that, guys, you'll have to uh, comment and correct me on that. And give me loads of abuse. <laughs> but don't be too mean, don't no, be don't too mean, guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> we getting the wristband on, guys. The symbol of fun. Let it begin. Salama. Right, in we are, guys. There's so much actually going on here. Here, this is actually going to be good. Like, there's like meat and everything over there. Like, can you see that, guys? I'm going to get a good look at everything once we're actually doing it, if you know what I mean. But like, oh my goodness, actually, like, I wasn't expecting this at all. Like, guys, we've got this class seat, like, right next to all this pork left shown over there. Like, that's going to be good. Like, I think they'll maybe be able to chop that up for us once we, like, get over and ask for it and everything. Awesome. Right guys, look at this. What's this? Like the noodles and different ingredients. I think it's like, did I see bok choy there a minute ago? Yeah, I did see bok choy. Maybe it's like in here or something as well. There's like loads of wee stuff in here. I've already had bok choy earlier on today. I've saw other things down there, but I wanted to start here to like let you guys see everything, if you know what I mean. Like, it's actually very busy in here and everyone's just having a good time, but like, Look at all that. Oh, it's make your own bachoy. I see, okay. So this is all the ingredients and everything. I'm all bachoyed out for today. This is so impromptu anyway, but that's actually pretty cool. You can like do it yourself and make it exactly how you like it, which is good. And um, this is just all like Italian stuff then, obviously, with like, well, actually it's not. It's got prawn crackers there too, chili sauce, different like things and everything. And it's like quite watery there. And then that one's quite thick. And then that one's like, watery again. Okay, pastas, like you name it guys. I might actually try a bit of that pasta at some point. Like I mean, I'm just showing you pretty much and then I'll get back to the table maybe with like a lot of things. for some pizza there too. That actually does look quite good guys. Oh my goodness, like this is gonna be good. What else? Oh, we bites, we sticks of stuff. I think that's like, it looks like liver or something. I think, and then in here, I actually don't know what that is. Corn kebab, different other kebab, that's like cucumber or something. And then other bits of like fish or something maybe. Yeah, the fish head and then the fish tail. Lots of different fishes going on. Raw items, so you can have stuff. It, wait, it says to ask for assistance. Okay, so it looks like you can like basically ask for the stuff to be cooked fresh in front of you, if you know what I mean. Or at least fresh, like look at that. All the, different, um, all the different fishes and everything, and I'm not too sure what that is. Raw items, then like steak maybe, or no, that's pork. Pork, I can tell by the color, but like three different colors of red and everything. Tops of pineapple. Shabu, Shabu station. And Dane, you're getting started already. Like, see, I'm happy to show all these guys first and then just get a load back at the table, I think, like. That's the best way I can think of doing it. Ice soup bar, black pepper chicken, and shumai. Ooh, you like your shumai, yeah. yeah nice, nice. And guys, what's this? Oh, it's Shabu Station, yeah. You can make different things with these ingredients. Then spicy curry coconut milk. That sounds good. I might start off with something like that. Yeah, no, this one actually looks good. Can I can I try the laksa soup? Are you allergic to any seafood or what? No, no. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. What is, what's this? Is that a mushroom? This is a uh, duck, uh, duck fungus. Duck fungus? Duck fungus. Is, is it nice? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, well, do, do you know where table is? Uh, my table... Uh, no, but I can come back right. and pick it up, okay. Five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. So the laksa spicy curry coconut milk? Yeah. Oh, that, that sounds good. That sounds good. So you're adding, what is this? This one is... Uh, like a seafood. Oh, okay. And okay. this one is uh, pork and cabbage. Oh, my mouth's watering like. Shrimp. Whoa. Oh, look at that one. Is it tempura? I don't know. Yes, tempura, uh, yeah. Oh, it looks good. It looks good, guys. Oh my goodness. So this guy's gonna make it. I'm gonna come back to him in a few minutes. He says it takes about five minutes anyway. Well, let's see what else they have. Yeah, it's a corn. A corn? corn. Uh, 
Yeah, if you recommend it, that's fine. Right. Corn, corn. Been five minutes. Sir. Duck fungus. That sounds weird. I can't wait to try that. Like right. <laughs> duck fungus. What's that all about? Then lo mein, yang chai fried rice. Guys, this is actually gonna be good. Like right, right. That looks really, really good. Actually, like what is that? Black pepper chicken. Mm, 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 mm. Right. Okay. I think that's pretty much all of that stuff anyway. There is more here to be fair, like I don't know Piccadillo. Here it's nearly my full name. D-I-L-L-O. All we're missing is an N and it would have been Piccadilly. Oh man, so close. Buffalo chicken, what else? What else guys? Let's see. Vegetable tempura, that looks nice too. Vegetable tempura. I think that's sushi tempura. This is all the tempuras guys by the looks of it. EB. I don't know what EB is. I'll have to try that too. I think we just serve ourselves with these ones. Guys, there's still like loads of desserts and everything down in the middle, but obviously I'll start off with all of this stuff. I'll probably do the same next time in regards of like going around all the desserts first to actually see what there is to show you guys and then just take a few back with me and everything else like. But there's different rices, shippo vegetables, like I don't know how I'm gonna try all of this. That looks good too. Chicken Thai curry. Salmon head with salmon head, right? With honey and garlic sauce. That sounds really, really weird, like, but it looks good, so I think I actually might try that, and I would never think of eating a salmon's head, but it's so, like, 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 reduced and cooked, if you know what I mean, but it looks good. Right, what else? Pork beans casserole, whatever. And then this, guys, what is going on here? Roasted chicken. And look, what is that all about, guys? Look at that big stack of meat. That, is that real, like? It looks real. That looks real, like, that's just nuts. And then the pork lechon, look at the color of that. Excuse me, is this real? That's real, like, wow, wow. Oh, it's like you're in a dream land or something. Yeah, the color's so nice, like. Guys, that's just cooked perfectly, and like, they cut it all up down there. Right, my suit might be ready. I'm gonna get a load of stuff and bring it back, guys, and we'll give it a go. Guys, we need our drinks. I've spotted root beer for the first time since I've been here in the Philippines, so I'm gonna be getting that for sure, like. Oh my goodness. Actual root beer, guys. Right, I need to get my food, but I'm back, guys, cooking my soup. I need to get back to the table and get sorted out quickly, like. Guys, we've got our lovely soup. Oh, and it stays warm for us, too. We've got this cool wee contraption. Salamat, man. Thank you. Guys, look at this. Look what I also found. I found sushi over at the sushi bar and everything, like, how cool stuff. So I'm going to try and remember everything of what this was actually called for you guys, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'll keep you with me. Right guys, here we go. I'm gonna attempt to use these chopsticks. Like we've got our pickled ginger, we've got some like seaweed stuff, I think. And then we've got our actual sushi there too. So pretty much, I'm gonna have to get my pickled ginger and like split it or something and then maybe add it on and then bite it. Right guys, I have did it. I've got it all nicely set up and prepared for us all. So let's see. There's no. my soy sauce as well too. I'm gonna try and do this well, and I dip it in. I feel like a... Uh, okay, let's see, let's see. Here, I think my soup's gonna be boiling. I've just noticed the soup is completely... Maybe I'll turn that off, guys. Hold on. Well, I turned it the wrong way. Yeah, I think that's it off now. Yeah, it's bubbling like mad, guys. And then there's like a bowl or something on top. It's very warm. I don't know how I'm going to take that off. Anyway, the sushi is lovely. Pickled ginger is good. I should have dipped it in more soy sauce, though, because I've like sucked all the juices out of it. It's got a crunch to it too, which is quite nice. What's yours like so far, Dean? Well, I'm, I've only tried the potato wedges and the sweet corn so far, so it's quite normal at the moment. It's quite normal. <laughs> They have a bit of a spicy taste to them. I wasn't expecting that. Mmm. There's a bit of spice in them. Nice one, nice Not one. Not too spicy. Just, just, just all right, okay. Nice. Yeah, tolerable. Right guys, I'm gonna try and eat some of this. This is a salmon's head, this black thing here. I don't know how I'm meant to eat it though. So I'm just gonna, guys, I'm just gonna have to pick it up here. Like, I don't know what other way to do it, but like, look at it. The color of it is just so like nice and it just looks good. It is a bone, I think. I can see actually, but it's a head now made. It's like, like that, like. 
<laughs> so let's see. It's very sticky. So it's just like normal meat. It tastes really good, mate. It's yeah. just like a like a Chinese takeaway almost or something. Like it's really good. Yeah. Mm. Not the I wonder if I take the eyes out of it or if I leave it in. I don't feel like it's got eyes in it. It tastes like a, it tastes like ribs. Ribs? Yeah, it doesn't taste like fish at all. To be honest, I haven't actually tasted ribs. <laughs> no, it doesn't taste like fish at all in my opinion. Yeah, that's really nice actually. Mmm. Alright, I think that's the only thing guys that I need to like use my hands for if you know what I mean. I think we've got another laurel leaf and there's loads of tempura if you guys didn't see. Like oh, yeah, all, there, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I got two bits that were like stuck together or something, so I'll try and give it a wee bite and taste it. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. It's actually very bitter inside if you know what I mean. Um I think it's maybe like courgette or I'm not sure. What what do you guys think that is? Is that like an eggplant, maybe? The uh, colour of it? It's like something mixed inside it. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. It tastes good enough. I think it maybe I should have put sauce on it. I don't know if there was stuff up there. But the inside's moist and everything. But like a nice sort of... You know what? I'll dip it in the fish type glaze. I think that, um, that will taste good. <laughs> right. This one is the one with my name in it. It was like a Piccadillo something. Um, I don't know if I should eat it. I think it's been fried enough. I can just bite it. I think I'll just try and eat the legs, guys. Yeah, no, you can't. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Like, the, the prawn, the Piccadillo. That is nice, like, and you don't even need to peel it or anything. You just eat the legs are all crispy and all, like, and it just tastes good. Ooh. Oh man, I recommend you try that. Next time if you're going up for seconds, really, 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 really good. I can't actually remember what this one is, guys, but we'll give it a go. Let's see, let's see, what is this? So I thought that was a, oh, that's the peanut. That's a spicy peanut. Oh, it's very spicy. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really, really spicy. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. <laughs> then I believe this guy's was like the buffalo rice or something. I'm not actually 100% what it was called, but we'll give it a whirl. It's gonna fall. Oh. It didn't, it saved it. It's very sweet compared to that spiciness that I've just had. Honestly, I think my favorite thing's been that prawn. My second favorite so far has been the fish head. So despite it being fish food, if you know what I mean, it hasn't tasted like that at all, like what it would usually taste like. So I'm very, very, um, very surprised by that actually. This is like a, like a sushi thing, I think, but like a tempura sushi, I think is what it said. So it's possible that that's literally just like one of these things, but like fried, if you know what I mean. We'll give it a bite and see. I'll try not to spill it, but like what else can I do, you know? Yeah, never yeah, rice in that. It is, it's literally a battered bit of sushi in the tempura, the same tempura as whatever that is. I'll try that prawn in a minute soon too. And then there's like those noodles, I think. I think that those noodles look like a chow mein noodle, if you know what I mean. And they look like the chow mein noodles that I would actually get back home in the UK if we like order it from like a nice restaurant or something and get it delivered to our house. I haven't tried them yet, so I mean, now that I've said that, I still hope that it tastes as good as I think, you know? Right, here we go. Yeah, it tastes exactly like it. I'm trying to figure out how to take this soup off, guys. Oh, no, no, it, it's it's very hot. I have to turn it off. No, 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 yeah, but, but uh, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. While we're waiting on our soup then, let's try this prawn tempura, guys. It's looking good. It's got like a sauce thing on it, I think. Let's give it a whirl. Ah. <laughs> guys, I wasn't even hungry. This is all just like, he called me and I just came down like five, ten minutes later. And then five, ten minutes later after that, I was here and now 
20 minutes after that and sitting here with like a weird bowl of soup and everything and all this and sushi. It's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> it certainly is like. Well guys, let's see this. Oh wow. Look at that. This kind of reminds me of the Sinigang a bit, but this is like going to be like a rich coconut thing. Like look at all those prawns. I'm going to have to peel them actually. Oh, that's actually a wee bit annoying, but like it does look, does it smell good? It smells very, very good. It actually smells like it's got like, it's like a, like a coconut Sinigang smell to it. That's, that's probably a really weird sort of representation of that. But that's what I'm getting whenever I'm doing it. So let's see, it came with a sweet spoon too. I'll get this bowl a wee bit closer like because you know how prone I am to these accidents so if I get like a prawn in there and then just try and get like some of the actual soup too there's a bit of sweet corn in it too for some reason the guy offered me like whether I wanted it or not and I was like well yeah sure why not I'll try a wee bit of it but you know I don't know if everyone else usually gets it but yeah coconut sinigangi prawn with sweet corn with also, what's this actually? There's another vegetable there, like a, I'm not too sure what that is guys, but that does look quite good too. I'm actually gonna try some of the like sauce on its own to see like what it's like without anything else in it. Obviously everything else has been cooked, like, you know, with that being in it, but um, the flavors of that will have been permeating out through that. But I had to get a fresh bit there because I was talking and I kind of spilled it, let's see. Okay, that's, oh, it's spicy, like, oh my goodness. Hello, how are you? Spider-Man, Spider-Man's over there. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> but yeah, no, guys, that's actually really good. That's very, very healthy, if you know what I mean. So let's see. I'm like, struggling to hold the spoon. Oh, wow. Yeah, the flavors are so, that's really, really nice, mate. But obviously you don't like all that sort of stuff but the actual sauce is really good if you know what i mean the juice inside is just so so warm if you know what i mean like it's just like that head and i'm gonna use my sushi bowl over here you can't really see but let's peel that ah, okay okay then we get like the juice of the head like out into the bowl if you know what i mean and then peel off all the legs and everything Right guys, there's also these like wee ball things, whatever they are. I have a funny feeling they're going to be absolutely roasting. There's also this that I got in Chinatown actually, that I never actually fully ate. And I will try and actually break a wee bit of that off. Like it feels very like, like spongy or something. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you know what it tastes like? That tastes like stuffing. You know what you get in a Christmas dinner? That's like stuffing. Right guys, it is time now to get some lovely dessert here. I'm actually getting quite the sog or full. So I'll show you some of it and I'll get some back to the table. But this is pretty much what they have to offer anyway. There's like these um, wee burger things and then like rice, rice sort of dessert. I actually don't know what that is. I think that's actually food guys. This is where the dessert starts, sorry. There's like um, marshmallows, pancakes, and maybe, I don't know, like ice cream or something somewhere, but you can put that on top. There is, let's see, what is this? Like sugared fruit or something? I'm not too sure exactly what all that is, but pretty much there is a lot more over here where this woman is getting. So she's getting like, what's that, brownies or something? Like they actually look pretty darn good. I might get like one of those. Like I can only eat a bit. There's actually like a full blown cake here, like. It's been like pretty much eaten and members upper wee squares. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely. That looks like like ube colored, but I don't know if it is. I'm not actually too sure what that is, but it's got lovely sort of like color to it. It could be dragon fruit in it for goodness sake or ube, one of those sort of colors or possibly even beetroot, but I doubt it. They, no, they look like little slices of pepperoni or something on top of lovely cake with nice cream inside it. So they're actually very interesting. I'm actually guessing that they're gonna be like strawberry or something maybe, I'm not too sure. And then there is this lovely like chocolate with like nuts in it, maybe like pecans or something. That looks so squishy and just like yummy if you know what I mean. I'm not too sure what that is. That's just like a wee decoration to keep it nice and everything. Breads, there's like fruit if you're just looking. That's actually what that woman gave me the other day. Those like wee um, things for like sweets pretty much. 
It's like they're natural sweets that you can pretty much just like like suck on if you know what I mean. You can't really chew much of the fruit off it or anything, but pretty much you can. It's just like a hard boiled sweet in my opinion. Um, but this is where you can get all your like fresh fruit and everything. Over here, I think it's more like milky, sort of like yogurty, creamy sort of stuff with like jelly. It looks like almost like uh, the bottom of like a melted halo halo or something. And then all these with those like we disc things like. Like a like pepperoni, if they look like that, obviously it isn't like, but that's what it looks like. All those. Over here, this guy's just getting prepared. I think this isn't, that's, that's not, <laughs> it's not dessert actually. I keep on doing that, it just looks so like desserty, if you know what I mean. This just looks like we cereals and stuff that you're gonna put over, is this hollow hollow? I think this is make your own hollow hollow, guys. I think this is actually what I'm gonna end up doing. It is because that's like the black willowman maybe and then different like types of beans and jellies. There's the buko and then the shaved ice and everything. I'm not too sure where the ice cream part is though. Is there like ice cream for this? Excuse me my friend. Is this um make your own halo halo? Yes. Is for ice cream? Oh I can't, so there is ice cream, but um how would you make an original Halo Halo then? Uh, first, uh, uh, fresh ice. Would you be able to show me how to make one? Right guys, we're gonna get shown by the pro, then I'll know for next time exactly how to make it properly, if you know what I mean. So, just, um, just like how you would have it, or how you would recommend it, or how it was invented, if you remember that. Pardon, pardon. So like, if you can show me like the original Halo Halo, like how it was invented, I if you know. I, I describe it. Yeah, yeah, but you just you just show me like the best way to do it, yeah. So the guys. Halo halo is composed of uh, first ice, fresh, uh, fresh ice. Okay, okay. Just a little. And whatever you want uh, some uh, toppings or ingredients like a uh, gulaman, strawberry gulaman. Oh, gulaman. Then the kaong one. What's this one called? Kaong. Ka -ong. Ka -ong. Ka -ong. Ka -ong. Ah. It's uh, already made. Uh, it is uh, like an kanjut. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Lovely, lovely. Looking good, guys. Then this is one. Uh, Black gulaman. Uh, ube. Ube? Ube. This is the ube. Ube gulaman. Ube gulaman. Ah. Interesting yeah, stuff, guys. It's looking good. Coming together so far, so good. Like, then put some corn, whatever you want your ingredients that uh, you want to eat. This is a uh, pandan gulaman. Gulaman. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've tried that before on its own. I've tried it and uh, I made it myself and made my own juice out of it before. And this is uh, beans, uh, white beans. Oh, white beans? White beans. Okay. Lovely. Like that. Then this is a uh, tapioca. It looks like a caviar. Uh, <laughs> Uh, is it a, is like it a, 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 a an egg of a fish? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. I know it's not tapioca. obviously like, but it looks uh, like tapioca. it. In uh, Filipino, it's called sago. Ah. Looking good, and, guys. Uh, so like the zape ube. Uh, stop. Ube, ube halaya. Oh, I've never tried it like that. It looks very like like runny and nice, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, like jam. So sorry sir, we don't have an, uh, the special ingredients of Bahiwano, it's uh, called leche plant. Oh really? Yeah. Leche plant? Leche. Oh I've tried that before, um, yeah. It's a uh, uh, Sans Rival, is it? So, yes. Sans Rival or something, it's a bit like that. That's okay, that's okay. Actually, can I have, um, can I, I know this is different, but can I please have, is that ube ice cream? Yes. I'll have one, one scoop, one scoop. I know I'm going against the green here of how it's meant to be done, but I do like the ube sort of flavor and the first ice cream. That's going to be good, guys. Mm. The typical toppings of halo halo is usually ube. Yeah, okay, okay. But this is great. And then do I get a, a spoon? Uh, guys, looking good. And we've got a lovely spoon. Well, my friend. Not yet. Oh, not yet. There's still more to go, guys. Oh my goodness. This is uh, optional. <laughs> if you have a sugar syrup, sugar you can, uh, syrup. Add to it. 
for the fitness. Okay, okay, but yeah. If you have double grunge, you can use grunge. Oh, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Some, uh, yes, please, yes, please. Sugar to taste. Sugar to taste. Oh, okay, okay. Then uh, uh, milk. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, guys, would you look at that? Beautiful. Just, uh, Thank you so much, my friend. Salam up. Right, I'm gonna get back to the table with this lovely halo halo and give it a mix mix. Guys, Dean is very besog. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I ask uh, what uh, channel or uh, yeah. uh, social media platform that you post? Your uh, you, do you have your phone? No? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Somewhere else? Uh, okay, so it's Dylan. Dylan. McClure. McClure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, YouTube. 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 Thank you. Salamat. Guys, would you look at this halo halo? I think I've got to give it a good wee mix going on here. Like, so you know what the weirdest thing, guys? It's like sweet corn in a dessert. I know it's got the word sweet in it, but that's like the most confusing thing ever for me. But the shaved ice at the bottom, you know what? Actually, guys, this is looking quite good. I'm happy with the colour of that already, actually. Oh, good, we still have some of the ice. See, I am quite particular whenever it comes to this. I don't like it whenever there's too much ice, but I like it to have some ice. But obviously, like, whenever it's made, the ice eventually melts, if you know what I mean. But sometimes, whenever I've, I've ate all of my Halo Halo and left with still lots of ice, and I'm like, that shouldn't have been as much about it, if you know what I mean. So you've got to get the balance right of the shaved ice, in my opinion. Um, also, he was saying, which confused me a bit, that it's not actually originally made with, an, uh, with a scoop of ice cream in it. And that actually, I, I was actually a bit surprised at that because whenever it doesn't have the ice cream in it, I just think it doesn't taste quite as good or it doesn't look quite as good even. But yeah, I'll give it another hollow hollow or a mix mix and we'll give it a wee try. Right, my first mouthful, guys, let's get this. Get the Gulaman jelly, the black jelly, and those other things that we thought was caviar. Yeah, it just tastes like halo halo. It's the um, condensed milk and everything, which is good too. Honestly, sorry, spilling it and everything. Honestly, <laughs> still doing it. Um, I can't tell the difference between this and the other halo halos that I have tried. But that's maybe because I added the ice cream at the end, if you know what I mean. It was maybe meant to taste a wee bit different. So that's pretty darn good. I think, guys, that I am going to finish the vlog here. Because I am very, very besolved. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in a future video. And have a nice night, day, wherever you are.